Hi everybody, it's Kristen. So I know this looks a little bit strange and the light's a little bright over here, but without these lights, then it's really dark in here because it's like 6.30 in the morning. What am I gonna do? So one of the things that I promised I would do for my 31 days of Kristen was show you the sports closet that I have talked about forever. Now this is not completely just a sports closet, but um, it has, you know, it kind of actually, it shows the quandary that is Kristen game. Um, these two things right here actually hold my purses and wallets and that sort of thing. I got these on Hot Look at some point. Um, so they are there and then behind that is all of my sports stuff. So, and I also have a whole area with hats, which I can show you. I could do a whole video on the hat collection if you want that. But anyway, moving on. So, uh, I'm just going <laughs> to run down the things that I have in my sports closet. This... I hope that you guys can see all of this. This is all my sports stuff. There are a few things back here that um, are for some of the community organizations that I work at or work with, um, and actually things that say my work name on them. You know, our company logo things. I kind of keep those in here as well. <clears throat> I don't know why. And this is the closet in our guest room. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll just show you what I have. So the first thing that I have in here is a brewer T-shirt. This is the old school ball and glove logo. I like this one. Yeah, I like them all or I wouldn't have them. Okay, this one is from the, um, oh, what is her name? The chick that was on Charmed. I don't know, I'll look it up and put it here. But anyway, she, she does advertising for like cooler girl clothes for, for uh, sports teams. So this is just a tie dye. It's got a cute little tie in the back. And then down here, it has the Brewer logo. I've only worn this a couple of times because it's kind of... Um, I don't know. I, I kind of like my sports stuff to be sports. And not... I almost don't want the super girly stuff. Does that make sense? Okay, so the next thing I have is this Burnout t-shirt. I really, really like this. It's Brewer logo. I have to wear it with a, with a cami, but I really, I really like this t-shirt. Um, and this one I totally forgot I had. So I'll wear this in the spring. It's just your typical baseball style shirt. And again, it has the old ball and glove logo. And these are, this is my uh, Brewer pullover. This used to fit me. It's kind of ginormous now. But I still like to throw it over things. Um, and I, I wear it like for golf and that kind of thing too. But it's almost actually too big for golf. Because if, if you're wearing something that's too big when you're golfing, it kind of can hinder your maneuverability. Um, and then I have this, which is also kind of big now, but um, this is just a zip-down sweatshirt that says Brewers on it. I hope this isn't as boring as I think it is. Um, okay, I have this t-shirt that I actually just got actually at Walmart, believe it or not. And I really like this is my, or oh, we've moved into Packer stuff now. Um, so, I have that t-shirt. I really like it because it's kind of girly yet still sporty. You will notice, by the way, that there is no pink in my sports closet. And I'm sorry for those of you that like the sports stuff that comes in pink, but I believe that there should be no pink. There's one exception to that, and I'll show you that. Um, okay, this is just a three-quarter length shirt. Again, this is some of my old stuff that I've just hung on to because I'll wear it on Saturdays or whatever, so it's kind of big. But, um, yeah, that. This you guys have seen before. I really like this for wearing to work. Just has a little logo, but it's still professional. It's kind of ombre effect on the bottom, so it's a little bit darker than it is on top. This one should really go to the Goodwill because it doesn't even come close to fitting anymore. But um, I don't know. I like it. I wanted I wanted one in black with the with peppers on it. It's also a three quarter length. This one obviously is in white, and I like this because it kind of has the stripes like they used to have on their jersey. I'm missing one. Anyway, um, this is a waffle neck, kind of like that long underwear type material. has a nice rip here in the front. I really like this one. I wear this one a lot. Oh, this one is from when we won the Super Bowl a few years ago. Super Bowl champions, baby. Long sleeve. And I am super picky about what jerseys I buy. I only own two. <coughs> Excuse me. The first one that I purchased, I will show you separately. 
And then this one, my husband actually purchased for me, and it is the away jersey. I prefer the home jersey, but they were hard for him to find at that time. So this is a Clay Matthews jersey, um, and just one of the not super expensive ones, you know. Um, so I like that. And then this one, I have had this one since before they won the Super Bowl back in 96. Um, it just means a lot to me. The, the player meant a lot to the team. And he's passed away now, so, but this was the only one I purchased until the Clay Matthews one. And this is my Reggie White jersey. Just means a lot to me. Sounds silly, I'm sure, but it does. It had been 30 years. I mean, that was the first Super Bowl we had won in my lifetime. Okay, um, and then I have this zip-up jacket that I wear just with a white t-shirt and can wear that to work. I like that one a lot. Just has the logo here. And last but not least, a really big zip-up hoodie jacket. This is Packers. I've had this one a long time. It wears really well. Okay, so that is my Packers set. And I'm not going to show you all of these unless you really want to, so you'll have to let me know. But I also have... Let me see if I can move you guys. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Oh, look, there are my clutches. Oh, look, there are my sports hats. Let me put you back a little bit so I can talk to you. Okay, so I have, um, these kind of just are my visors. Brewer Badger, TaylorMade, the ones I wear for golf. This is a golf hat. So these are Brewer hats and one Pirates hat. And these are all Packer hats. The one exception, like I said, it was this one that was for breast cancer awareness. It's the only bit of pink that has anything to do with sports that I own. And then these are Timber Rattlers, which is the farm team for the Brewers, and the Bullfrogs, actually, which is a triple, single A, single A, triple A, I don't know, baseball team. Okay, so I hope that you guys <laughs> enjoyed that. I don't know, you wanted to see it, so now you got it. Um, I don't have any cheese heads, I'm sorry to disappoint anybody, I actually have never owned a cheese head. I'm pretty sure that I own a cup cozy in the shape of, of some sort of cheese, but that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see a full on hat, I mean, not just these ones, but if you want to see all my kind of cute hats or whatever, let me know. I can do that this month. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.